Hi guys, Ham here. So today uh, I've just got a brand new Akuma Soul Surf to add to the mix. I've got one of these myself and then in the Matrix. Personally, I like the Soul Surf better because it's a bit flexy and I get more more casting distance out of it to be honest. But the MD is good. However, when it's in the water and you're looking for a bite, these things here are just so so um, flexible you see every bite as opposed to the nanomatrix is quite stiff and it's hard to see the bites. So anyway, what makes it MD? What makes it Mad Dog? That's what MD stands for. So it's an Akuma Mad Dog Soul Surf and you also get the MD in the, uh, the nanomatrix. So basically if you come up and have a look at this, this bit here, your reel seat's in this piece here, so you undo that bit there like you do on a normal rod for the reel seat. Put that on. This top one and the bottom one, if you loosen those off, what this does to any other rod in the market is if I want a long butt, I can move it up like that so this bit here is real long. So when I'm casting on land, I can get a good whip with a good pull down action. If I'm in the waves and waiting, I can actually bring it up and that's how I have my other one set in the shed is about there. So then I can hold it higher out of the waves and do a massive cast without getting all this drenched in the, in the water when I'm waiting up to about here. So that's what I like about the MD. So we'll tighten this up and get it lined up with the eyes and then we'll, I'll go through how to spool the reel for you. Guys, I'm gonna back load, put some of this 25 pound wasabi line underneath to back it up a little as a backing. And then I'm going to put this eight kilo, 19 pound suffix titanium on it. It's real thin, so it's important to have a bit of backing. All I want is about 400 meters of this on it. And these here, a thousand meters, you can get four, uh, three spools out of one of these. So for 20 bucks or 25 dollars for a thousand meters, that do you, you know, you do one every season, that's three seasons. So it's pretty good stuff to have. And then I'll stick a 40 pound suffix leader on it um, at, at the end. So I'll go through how I do this. Well, guys, as you can see, I've, I've tied this 25 pound around, just made a knot, a granny knot to be honest. And then I'm just going to wind it in. So Cheese has got the screwdriver through the spool and I'm holding the tension up here. So I'm putting tension on so it's not, you know, and then we just wind on really. So I'll wind on a bit of backing. Guys, as you can see, if we show you the reel, that's got backing on it down there. Comes back up, I'll cut it. And we're going to our, in this case, eight kilo line. So I've got eight kilo here to the 25. This is the backing, this is the main line. Right, so what I'm gonna do is a double back-to-back -back uni knot, so cross them over. This one here, come back up over itself. Pinch them together five times through its own loop. So one, two, three, four, five. Pull it up tight, wet it. Always wet mono, cinches up better. Then we're gonna do the same with the red line going back around itself and then back going the other way five times. Same thing, just going the other way. One, two, three, four, five. Pull it up on itself again, a bit of moisture. Then we grab both sides and we pull it up and we'll cinch together. So pull it up, cinch together, there we go. Cut the tags off. Got a little bit of a knife here. Usually I use nail clippers, but typical male misplaced them. I don't know where they are. I lose everything. So anyway, cut those tags off. Like so, and then the other one. And then you're left with a nice little knot like that. Beautiful. And then, the cheese is on our little our little screwdriver again, we do the same thing, it's looks full. So, grab this, get the drag up, that's my pull that, hold the tension in my fingers through here, so that's the tension there, and we start winding them. So you need to go through one eye while you do this, you have to redo the whole lot. And we fill it up, so if you have a look in, you can see the red line going on it now, and we fill a spool. We'll come back when it's done. Well guys, you can see it's full. There's a little bit of a lip left, not too much. If you over spool it, it's gonna keep peeling off and it'll get birds in there. So you wanna have a little, about a mil, mil or two underneath that top lip there. So it's actually got a little bit of a gap. You don't want it to be over spooled. If it's bulging out the side, it's just gonna come pulling off as soon as you release it. You don't want that to happen. You end up with birds' nests. So we follow it up. All right, 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this off here and I'm going to put some 40 pound to it. What I'm going to do for the sake of the rod because your leader needs to be about the length of the rod plus two or three winds around your um, spool and the reason for that is when you've got the sinker on your leader that's why it goes to 40 pounds so when you put all that load on it it's not going to snap. If you put load on this it's just going to break it every time. So you want the initial cast to be able to lead off with it and then it comes off with no pressure. So two, three winds around the spool is enough and then about two feet at the end of the rod cut it you can either put a clip on it or tie straight to your rigs. So I'll put the third piece section on. Why? Because I want to know what the full length of the rod is with my leader. So it's important that you put the whole rod together, we'll thread it through, tie the knot together and then um, yeah well I'll show you that part next time or not. Me. Alright guys, as I said, we threaded it up, so we put the third piece on, thread it through the eyes. Now I'm going to do a back-to-back -back uni knot. Pull it, cheese, put some tension on it please. Just lift up, hold it there mate. Okay, so we're going to put this double back-to-back -back uni knot again to the leader. So again, round itself, five winds, one, two, three, four, five. And wish to pull it up tight. Beautiful, and we'll do the same on the other side. Bring it back, face the other way. Five winds, one, two, three, four, around both lines of course. Five, and then draw it together. Bang, there's our knot. Cut those tags off. Okay, here we go. So we'll cut these tags off, guys. So we'll get that right up close if I can. Nail clippers are the best thing, but I, typical male, I've done it with that. So <laughs> knife box cutters are the next best thing, or craft knife, some people might say. So we're in here, like that, boom. Now, how much? I'll take this off, too. I'll show you, so I'll go like this, do the bag up. So I feel it through my fingers, till the knot goes through. Three rounds, have it come back to here. Beautiful, so you can see that it's gone through there. Um, and then, well, that's the perfect length actually, it's just come through the eye. When I thread that back through, that'll be the perfect length, that's the cut it. It's the amount I had left, so we'll re thread it through and have a look at that. Should be the length of the rod plus three winds through that come boiled out, because it's the end of the roll. All good. Load it down to you so I can pull it through. Hopefully. Oh, perfect. Perfect. It's going to be perfect length. Made for the job. So this is what it looks like once it's done and threaded through and you set your line up every time, sundo that drag a little bit there, cheese, undo it, undo it, big turn, thank you, so you want arm length out and if we go back down and have a look it should still be around the coil, so if I put this up here that's how much you need, so you can tie your rig straight to that with a clip now, and that's ready to go. Cut it off, rewind it around the spool. If you go over with a spool, there should still be a line of clear stuff around it. And you can see it's coming off the spool, so that's a good length. So when we finish, I'll wind it up. So I've cut the line off at the end of the day, wind it up, and then I come back around, and all I want, you might have to undo the drag a bit so you can bring it around, and put it around that circle there. So this tag bit goes around, like that and then there's the end there so it sits there and that's how you use your reel you can take your reel off or leave it on however you want to when you pull your rod down and that's how you cut it when you put it back together put that back on thread it through do it up you're into it so yeah